Hey everybody, I got the new uh, Lumi keyboard here from Rolly. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to use this uh, as a MIDI input device for other apps on your iPad that are not the Play Lumi app. So uh, if you wanna just make music or you know use GarageBand or whatever, I'll show you how to do that here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna need to install an app from the App Store called MIDI Mitter. This one here, all right? And this will allow you to connect to uh, Bluetooth devices and use them uh, with MIDI. Okay, so I got my um, got my Rolly uh, Lumi here. I'm gonna turn it on. You can see it's in Bluetooth search mode, right? I'm gonna go to MIDI Mitter, and then there's devices, devices. Okay, and I've connected to this before, so it's in the list. Uh, if you um, can't connect to it like this, you might need to force quit it. And then just start it up again. Go to devices, and you can see it's not connected, right? But then I can just tap on it and connect. Okay, and it's connected now, right? And you can see here my my Lumi is all white keys now because it's connected. It's not doing the uh, the pulsing wave thing when it does for connecting. Okay, then you're gonna go over here to MIDI ports, and you're gonna make sure that the Lumi keys is turned on for sources. Okay. All right, that's how you connect it. Now, if we go to GarageBand here, uh, I can go to Alchemy Synth or Sampler, right, on the keyboard. Um, these are two good options. So we'll go to Alchemy Synth here, and you can see, um, you know, I can play notes on the screen, but uh, I should, I can play notes on my Lumi. Right? I can play notes on my Lumi uh, with the synth here, right? And I can, you know, all the stuff in GarageBand works just fine using this as an input. It is velocity sensitive, so you can hit it harder or you can hit it softer, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, if you don't have multiple Lumi keyboards, uh, you can push these buttons here and it will go up and down octaves, right? Right, so if you want to switch to a higher or lower octave, you can use that these buttons right here. It's the same thing as like scrolling back and forth uh, when you have this to, to scroll. You can do that except with this button here. Okay, and this will work in both the Alchemy Synth and the Sampler uh, just fine. I haven't tried um, I haven't tried other sections, but as a standard MIDI keyboard, it works great. Um, and you may see that instead of getting these white keys, you may have like a color rainbow. That's normal too. Um, just anything but that weird strobing wave thing means it's connected. Uh, and that's how you do that.